We're not looking for the 9 to 5ers. We want the game changers. The bold thinkers. The fearless leaders. You're not ordinary. Your career shouldn't be either. Eleven countries. Eleven companies. Diverse digital businesses. The choice is yours. Take pride in the work that powers amazing cities. With the most cutting-edge communication technology. Dive deep with us. Bringing connections to far-flung societies and entire nations. Bounce ideas around with 13,000 innovators from 42 different nations. Experiment. Create. All in the name of advancing Asia. With respect to our planet, this is our promise. Our purpose. Together, we'll find your boundaries and break them. No matter how high up you go, you will be learning every step of the way. Here, anyone can become a leader in their chosen path. Or carve out a career that doesn't yet exist. The question is, are you ready for it? about quality dimension of service at Salcom Azata Berhad. Salcom Azata Berhad is established in 1988 as the first mobile operator in Malaysia, headquartered in Kuala Lumpur. Its founder is Datuk Sri Muhammad Shazali bin Ramli, CEO. This proves that this telecommunication company is one of the oldest companies in our country. Salcom Aziata Berhad is a company that has successfully introduced mobile phones although in Malaysia, there are very few companies that have mobile phone licensing. The mobile phone has introduced through the ART900 automated mobile phone service which uses the Extended Total Access Communication System ETAC or First Generation Analog Method. The extended total access communication system ETAC uses a number preset by 010. Telkom Azata Berhad has great competitors such as Maxis, DG, Umobile, and other telco companies. Other than that, Telkom Azata Berhad has received various awards such as Bronze Award Communication Network Category. Wireless Data Service Provided of the Year as well as Global Leadership Awards during its service. It also emphasizes consumer concepts such as determining affordable prices, determining its business targets, offering products according to consumer needs over time, and producing products that may provide maximum satisfaction to consumers. Cellcom Azata Berhad Company is our preferred telco company because the company is the oldest telco company, has many users from time to time, and the Azata Berhad is two ranking for the best telco network in Malaysia. Reliability is the quality of being trustworthy or performing consistently well. 
It involves consistency of performance and dependability. One of the biggest advantages of reliability is your customer's satisfaction. You must have to understand it that a very reliable product may or may not affect the satisfaction of your customer to a great extent. So, if the product is unreliable, it will have a severe negative impact on your customer satisfaction. They will never come back for your product. From the survey, the reliability of the company are high because there are 26 respondents which is 52% of the survey had been used circa for more than 5 years. 16 respondent which is 32% had been used CERCOM for 3 to 5 years and the remaining 8 respondent had been used CERCOM for 1 to 2 years. So, from the survey, we can see that there are high variability from the customers towards CERCOM because of their loyalty to use CERCOM for the long period. Other than that, 48 respondent which is 96% said that this telco helped them in their daily life. It also can show us the high reliability towards CELCOM. Other than that, the satisfaction towards reliability of CELCOM because 33.3% of the respondent satisfied with CELCOM and 36.4% respondent are very satisfied with CELCOM. Next is responsiveness. Responsiveness is the quality of reacting quickly and positively towards customer inquiry. This characterization is based on the ability of the organization to be responsive to customer needs with an emphasis on a willingness to respond promptly. Keeping a customer waiting especially when there is no clear or, or obvious reason will generate into negative perception. From the survey, there are 36.7% of the respondent are satisfied and 30% of the respondent are very satisfied with CERCOM responsiveness in solving their customer problem. So, the satisfaction percentage of the responsiveness of CERCOM are 66.7% and it shows that CERCOM are very responsive towards their customer problem. Next is understanding or knowing the customer. Understanding or knowing the customer is the ability to understand something. Understanding customer is the key to giving them a good service which in, which in turn into a strong customer relationship. From the survey, 78.8% of the respondents believe that CERCOM have a good understanding toward their customer. There are 48.5% respondents satisfied and 30.3% of the respondents are very satisfied with CERCOM in understanding their customer needs. So, it shows that CERCOM have a good understanding toward their customer need and give the satisfaction to the customer to keep choosing them as their favorite telco. Next is competence, communication. Competence is the quality or the ability to do something successful or efficiently. It also can be defined as the specification of knowledge and skills and the application of the knowledge and skill to the standard of performance required. Communication is the quality importing and exchanging information by speaking, writing, or using other medium. From the survey, their satisfaction of the customers towards cellcom competence are high because there are 66.6% .6 respondent satisfied with the competence of cellcom customer service. It shows that cellcom customer service have a good skill and knowledge about the telco. From the result of the survey, we know that cellcom customer service also have an effective communication skill is they can guide the customers in solving their problems. Furthermore, quality they mentioned that CELCOM have according to the survey is courtesy. Courtesy is the quality that showing of politeness in one's attitude and behavior towards others. Customer courtesy also refers to a variety of informal behaviors demonstrated by a company's sales and service employees that affect a customer's experience. When customers visit the business or call on the phone, the level of courtesy employees show effects where the customers buy and whether they come back. 
customer courtesy generally centers around being friendly and kind to customers in business. Response time is a common starting point. Show a customer courtesy by acknowledging him or her and giving the attention quickly after him or her arrives. A warm friendly smile and attitude when you approach are critical as well. Helping a new customer to find a product or service that they need by listening and making a friendly recommendation may seal the deal on a sale. Listening with empathy and genuinely working to resolve a service problem can help retain a customer after their bad experience. Customer courtesy impacts whether a customer views his experience with the business as positive, negative, or lukewarm. Hiring friendly, helpful employees and training them on being cautious helps the business efforts to get repeat business and ultimately loyalty from customers. From the survey, 18.8% respondent are satisfied with the courtesy of Cellcom customer service, while 14.6% respondent are very satisfied with Cellcom customer service courtesy. There is no dissatisfaction towards the courtesy of Cellcom customer service. It shows that Cellcom customer service are polite in communication with their customers. Next, close competitors of Cellcom Asiata Berhad. Competitor is any person or entity that is in the same or similar industry or which offers a similar product or benefit to the customer. The presence of competitors makes the market competitive, driving down the prices and margins on goods and services as the competitors attempt to gain a larger market share by competing on prices such as lowering its prices more than its rival. Based on the survey that we have conducted, there are users of other company such as Digi.com Berhad with 10.68 million subscribers, Maxis Berhad with 9.6 million subscribers, Humobile Sendian Berhad with over 7 million subscribers, Unify with 2.26 million broadband subscribers, TuneTalk Sendian Berhad with 1.5 million subscribers, Red One Sendian Berhad 1.2 million subscribers, and YTL Communication or Yes4G with 1.3 million subscribers. These companies are the competitors of Cellcom. The biggest rival of Cellcom is Digi.com Berhad because they have higher number of subscribers compared to Cellcom which is only 8.03 million subscribers. Overall, we can conclude that Cellcom Asia Taberhat have their own capabilities in providing their services. Most of the questions in the survey show that Cellcom's users satisfied with their services. Cellcom was consistent in their performance and their employees are always ready to provide services to their customers. They are also a trusted company for over the years. This is because Cellcom have been in telecommunication services industry since 1988 and they are the oldest company in this industry. The survey also shows that Cellcom's employees are polite, respect their customers, and friendly. Moreover, Cellcom shows their effort to understand the customer's needs by offering many types of mobile data plans. It is to make sure they can provide the services that suitable for all their customers. In the past year, since the pandemic occurs, telecommunications has become a critical utility services for across the globe, not only in Malaysia, not only for Cellcom. Right? So when the pandemic hit Malaysia, hit our country, Salcom as one of the leader or if the largest or widest network provider in Malaysia, we, 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 we immediately respond to the need of the people. Our response to the pandemic uh, to make sure that it's safe for everyone is around four, four areas. Uh, the first is the safety of our people, uh, our frontliners that has to go out every single day and serve our customers, our network engineers that has to go on the ground to upgrade the network. Uh, our trade support people have to support our trade so that they can continue to support their own customers. Second is about maintaining the network to make sure that the network is up all the time. Our customers can continue to communicate during this critical time. The third is that we look around the communities. 
how we take care of them, how we support them, how we provide whatever that we can to them beyond our, our, our services. And last but not least, I think one of the most important of all for us is how does Cellcom as an organization is take this pandemic and learn from the pandemic and come out of, out of the pandemic stronger than before? How do we adopt our, uh, our business? How do we adopt some to adapt to the new, to the new norm? Um, the way that we run our operation, the way that we support our trade, the way we support our customers, the way our customers engage with us. Actually, our trade became more active post uh, uh, post the pandemic, post the MCO, our uh, our effort with the communities is being recognised. It is something that we have done with our partners, with the ministries, with the hospitals, with the frontliners. In July last year, in 2020, we gave one month free to all the nurses in the country. So that, that's the kind of thing that we do we, we do for them. And the last part is whether we came out stronger or not. The result came out came out stronger than before we enter into the pandemic. And we did fairly well, fairly better compared to the other competition in the market.